Injections or excision for keloid. Dermatologist or plastic surgeon. I had autoplasty 18 months ago. Over the past week, this large keloid has formed in the back of the ear along the suture site. From the limited visuals, would you tend to think this can be treated with the steroids or will it require an excision? I'm trying to decide whether to see a dermatologist or plastic surgeon. Thank you for your question. You submitted several photos and you state that you had autoplasty performed 18 months prior and that when the photos you describe that there appears to be this area that you're referring to as a keloid and you're asking who is better to, who is best to see a plastic surgeon or a dermatologist. Well, I can certainly share with you my perspective on this question. Um, a little bit of background, I'm a board certified cosmetic surgeon and fellowship trained oculofacial plastic and reconstructive surgeon. I've been in practice in Manhattan and Long Island for over 20 years. Otoplasty is something we offer in our practice and I have a lot of experience performing this procedure. So I think I can share with you what my que questions would be um, even though there's no physical examination. So to begin with, when we talk about doing otoplasty, you have to understand that most likely what you had was an incision that was done in the crease behind the ear, essentially in the same area where this, uh, this elevated lesion is present. Now from that crease, you, access, you can access the middle part of the ear as well as the upper part of the ear, essentially the conchal bowl as well as the antihelical fold. The question that I have when I look at this area is that if you had sutures that were placed to bring the conchal bulb in, for example, when uh, someone has a very prominent or hypertrophic conchal bulb, then you can resect or remove some of that cartilage and then you suture the cartilage to the mastoid fascia, to the base where the bone is. Now, what comes to mind when I see something like this is not so much that you have a thickened scar, but my wonder is, are you getting a reaction to the suture material? Is it possible that you may have had some exposure and you may have developed, you started developing an infection? A suture could have stuck out, a suture could be irritating that area, but I would, before coming to the conclusion that this is a keloid, I would recommend that you actually see the doctor who actually performed the surgery. The doctor who performed your surgery has a, a clear understanding of exactly what was done and would be able to be m m more likely to be able to make the proper diagnosis and, ev and do the proper evaluation. If they suspect or they have experience where something like this would have happened in other patients, then that puts them in a different, much more better position than someone new seeing this area. I think that if you aren't able to reach that doctor, then someone who is a surgeon who performs otoplasty is the next best choice. So I would say a cosmetic surgeon or a plastic surgeon would be appropriate because these doctors do these procedures and would actually know their way around. Uh, with due respect to dermatologists, they don't perform routinely, dermatologists don't perform this type of surgery and they may not feel as comfortable doing something such as opening things up and exploring to figure out is there suture material, is there some kind of a foreign body issue there, does it need to be cleaned out. It's not just about injecting steroids or doing something to, assuming that it's a scar. So you need a proper diagnosis and again I would recommend you see the original surgeon to be able to make that evaluation. So and if that's not possible, find a cosmetic or plastic surgeon who can help you um, deal with this. But I would, not, I would not wait. I would say try to bring it to someone's attention as soon as you can. So I hope that was helpful. I wish you the best of luck, and thank you for your question.